Jimmy, thanks for jumping on. Really excited to talk to you about this XHT 400 job, Class I XHT 400. That was one of the first jobs that we ever did with Supoxy. Uh, so tell me a little bit about it and how it got started. One of the largest oil and gas producers in the Permian Basin, they've had issues with burning holes in these fire tubes, which create a fire on location, which is not good for a safety aspect or a production aspect. And so there's always been a need and kind of a void in the oil field as far as fire tubes go. Having an application that works first off and then something that's easy for the common applicator to apply. And the Supoxy Class I XHT 400 was designed with real ease of application. We presented them a one coat thin mill application that could hold upwards four or 500 degrees Fahrenheit in a crude oil and produced oil, produced water immersion situation. And it really caught their attention. After looking over all the data sheets and the technology, they decided to give us a field trial and we applied one coat. The next day we came back and holiday tested it, touched up two spots and it was ready to go to service. Great. So how long was it in service before they checked it next? We put it in service in, it was August and it'll be two years this coming August. It was in service for six months and we pulled it out and nobody really knew what to expect because we hadn't had any real life application. It's all been laboratory controlled. And when we got out there to pull it out, they actually used a backhoe, which was not my favorite way to remove it out because it will scrape the sides and cause abrasion of the coating. After they pulled it out and they did scrape the sides a little bit, the coating still appeared intact and new and didn't have any abrasion to it from where they had actually drugged it across the steel vessel. And after that point, me and the roustabout crew took brake cleaner, sprayed it on and started wiping off all the residual oil and dirt and paraffin from the separator and the coating appeared brand new. That's awesome. The, the vessel stayed in service for probably another six more months and with the approval, they decided to go with this coating on all their vessels in the Delaware Basin, which is pretty much, as far as operating, we're getting 80% of their vessels and fire tubes from this success. Very cool. That's awesome. That's a great, application for that product it's exactly what it was designed for so appreciate that and uh more great things to come with uh supoxy so thanks for sharing yes, sir my pleasure